more than a quarter of this film must be regarded as irretrievably lost. Few films have been so systematically changed, mutilated or corrupted as this one. Shots and titles have been omitted and changed. However, of no other such mistreated film do we know so well what the film originally looked like. Fritz Lang and Tia von Harbu, different sex Siamese twins, just like their film. The novel, Tia von Harbu's film, Behind, Under, Fritz Lang's. At this point, the music started during the first screening, the Metropolis theme, a fanfare motif. The orchestra follows. A column of sound emerges. Tia von Harbu's message, Lang didn't believe in it. He said, I am fascinated by machines. Metropolis, the mother city, city of mothers, mother of all cities. The city, the film, they too are machines. Flywheels, a crankshaft, an eccentric disc, a machine without workers, devoid of function, pure movement, rotating, thrusting, a machine of desire. Round shapes and jerking movements become one in the image of two clocks. One 24-hour and one 10-hour clock. Day shift and night shift, 10 hours each, mark the metropolis working day. Two groups of workers, uniformed in rows of six, march in unison. The exhausted, half as fast as the fresh. They moved their feet, but were not walking, reads the novel. The way people move or are moved is always highly significant throughout the film. The workers' theme, a funeral march. The night shift enters a cage. The grate is raised. The cage sinks and with it the camera. A title picks up the movement. Even the titles the young Louis Benuel wrote in his review of the film, how they rise and fall, blend with the movement as a whole, become pictures themselves. The title's movement is carried through to the movement of the picture. The workers, now just a painted silhouette rising in the background, the design of the underground workers' city. Elevators transport the workers up and down between the machine halls and their living quarters. A new musical theme, the theme of the city of the workers.
the main square of the workers' city, simply a transit area for the workers returning to their quarters. In the centre, a gong, again a kind of alarm clock. The downward scroll of the title is answered by a rising, equilateral triangle pointing skywards. The sports stadium. The contrast is stark between its openness and the sweeping skies and the cramped city of the workers. Just as stark as the contrast between the liberated and carefree movements of the youths, dressed in white, and the dull lethargy of the darkly closed workers, and the self-determined horizontal movement versus the downward ride of the workers in the lift. A light-hearted waltz. No musical leitmotiv accompanies this scene. An artificial grotto, columns like stalactites, young women in Rococo carnival costumes, Orient-inspired head adornments. The tricorn is of Venetian origin. In contrast to the straight course of the young men, the young women's animated turns, anti-clockwise, directed by a ringmaster, clockwise, A playground is the pleasure garden of the sons, an infantile idyll. Nature, sex, eroticism, and chaste playfulness, like the water in the fountain, a transparent dome masking a statue of a siren. The youth in white breeches and the girl with the queue de Paris play hide-and-seek. Their game a dance, a pas de deux. A scene highly charged with erotic illusion, yet so intensely innocent that we do not actually expect a real kiss. Instead, an expectant glance. Musically accompanied by a new theme. Let us call it the love theme. Answered by an apparition, dressed in light grey, it reads in the screenplay, from the smallest of décolletés rises a head with solemn eyes and glowing blonde hair. The austere countenance of the Virgin, the sweet countenance of the Mother, reads the novel. The Mother Without a Man, Freda's Dream. New to the music is the Freda theme. It describes him as a light-hearted, harmless soul, a pure fool. The subject of her glance is Freda, the brother, the son of Fredersen, the nothing more than a son. All names in Metropolis are steeped in meaning. Heralded by the clarinet, a new choral-based theme, which from now on will accompany the entrances of the young woman.
A door closes. Communication is interrupted. This will be repeated at several decisive moments throughout the film, providing the impetus for further action on the part of its heroes. Nothing could help him. Nothing, the novel states at this point. In a tortuous, ecstatic omnipresence stood before his eyes the vision, a countenance, the austere countenance of the Virgin, the sweet countenance of the Mother. Later, we learn that Freda lost his mother at birth. Fredo runs. Where will Freda search for the Virgin, the Mother? Not in the worker's city as one would think. Freda arrives in a machine hall. In this film, we can never be sure whether what we see, what the characters see, actually represents reality or is an hallucination, a vision, a dream, which sometimes becomes a nightmare. Freda searches for a woman and finds a machine. In the novel, he now comes face to face with a machine of his own construction. He strokes it, feels its limbs, presses his face to its bulk. In the film, the machine is also a living organism. Freda in the novel, tonight I shall allow myself to be embraced by you, pour my life into you and discover whether I can give you life. Blood pressure and temperature of the film machine rise. Perhaps I will feel your trembling and the sprouting of pulse in your rigid body. Perhaps I shall experience the intoxication with which you hurl yourself into your vast element, bearing me, the man who made you. But Freda also knows, Freda in the novel, nothing in this world is more vengeful than the jealousy of a machine that feels neglected. In the film, the machine is called the M machine. M as in mother. M as in Moloch. The Moloch theme. A threatening musical gesture. The film of the future is also a film of antiquity, a biblical film. Moloch, the god of the Ammonites, to whom the Israelites also sacrificed children, to the chagrin of Moses and his god. The film is littered with associations to the Old and New Testaments. In the music, the Moloch theme switches to the theme of the workers' city. Platoons of workers in rows of...